Sorry for the shorter videos and delays, but uh, turns out that some pretty big balance changes have been implemented. Previously, this was the strongest weapon in Trail Makers. Simply put, a single hit of this could instantly vaporize any vehicle. And this was fully automatic. Obviously, it's broken and it pretty much destroyed any type of meta, which is why nobody used them. Now, however, it turns out that impacts from crates and other such things now deal zero damage, or at the very least, the crates deal zero damage. I haven't really tested it with other stuff too much, but it does seem to be consistent. The only form of damage that this can apply is knocking something then into the ground or into another object, which then deals damage. So yeah, um, anyway, so this time I decided to make a uh, rail gun. And when I say rail gun, I mean using tractor beams. So riding off of Radon's testing, uh, a video that I will link in the description, he went over a whole bunch of different railgun types and saw how they were affected. I did my own testing and the conclusions were about the same. Overall, damage has been reduced. However, if you can use the right type of projectile at like in the right way with the right speed, on average, it will make higher damage. Collision damage is more consistent. This doesn't mean it's worse or better, it just means that it's different. So overall, I actually think the railguns are just as effective. As long as you properly optimize one for this update to properly register with the collisions and whatnot, I think it'll actually be stronger than previous railguns. <laughs> And another interesting thing to note is that the way that it deals damage is based off of how close the blocks were to the impact site. What this means is that unlike an explosion, which randomly deals streaks of damage, uh, kinetic damage now is a lot more concentrated and is a lot more directed. Obviously, it still requires a whole bunch more testing. In what cases is just conventional explo are conventional explosives better than railguns? But whatever. Anyway, so I decided to make a railgun with no moving parts. I ended up stopping and not completing this project due to the fact that my game kept crashing whenever I tried to use like uh, some cosmetic items. A patch did recently get pushed to Trailmaker, so it probably got fixed by now, but it's already too late since I'm recording this. Basically, the fundamental concept is simple. Using gravity, and I can pretty much skip the all the complexities of a feeding mechanism. When the gravity has fed around, however, I want it to stay in the barrel and not shift around. The first and biggest issue is, one, I need to be able to make it automatically cycle in a new round without, it, uh, without any moving parts. So what I do is I have a sensor at the bottom, and when it detects that there is no round in the chamber, it will send out a signal and using a series of delays, it will trigger the next one, the next round in line to drop down into the chamber. At which point, by default, it will be held in by a tractor beam. Tractor beam at the back then turns to the expel mode, the mode to yeet stuff, to then feed it into the main acceleration tube thing, which then fires it off. Overall, it's pretty simple, pretty effective. However, the reason why I wanted to swap the uh, pipes to something else was simple. Currently, as it stands, the pipes are not symmetrical. Now, the reason why I had the disconnection blocks at the front is to give them zero drag at the front to make them fly straight. Sorry, not straight, fast. The problem is that as they tumble through the air, their sides, which do have drag, and also, since they bounce around in the barrel, they end up going all over the place. And they needed to be smaller than the barrel and not fit flush with the barrel because that would also cause bouncing because Trailmakers doesn't create perfectly smooth walls. So overall, it's just a nightmare. The only real solution would be to just have a uh, small cosmetic item such as a trim piece, which is one, drastically smaller than the barrel, and two, because it's an air because it's an accessory piece, it would also have zero drag. 
I was unable to do damage testing, so this is all I really have, the feeding mechanism. But yeah, also the feeding mechanism itself still has issues. Again, it is underdeveloped due to the fact that my game kept crashing whenever I tried to apply new things to it. No clue why. Anyway, I'm going to link it down in the description. Perhaps someone else could develop it. The reason why it has uh, errors when loading in a new round into the chamber is because when the new round drops in, it doesn't always perfectly land flat. Uh, and so when the tractor beam grabs it, sometimes it holds at a weird angle. I tried flickering the beam to allow it to realign itself, but it doesn't really fix the issue. So here we are. Um, it works, it shoots, it's pretty consistent. All things considered, this is quite a decent starting point for a small, compact, self-reloading, minimal complexity of railgun. But it still has a pretty long ways to go, which I hope is where the rest of you will be able to take it if you decide to implement it into your own designs. This is more of a starting off point rather than a finished project, and I hope you recognize that as such. Also, I'm still accepting recommendations for new video content. Also, video content might slow down from the uh, like once a week ish kind of scale that I was going down that I was going out to closer to maybe like a once a month type of or ordeal. But I hope not. But we'll see.